Hi, I'm Amber Cook. Welcome to my podcast, The Dragonfly Connection. Join me every Wednesday for open, honest, inspiring, and healing conversations with people who face their own health and life challenges, worked through them, and now are on a mission to help you live a healthier, more fulfilling life. My hope is that at each episode leaves you more empowered and inspired, no matter where you are on your life and healing journey. My guest today, Steve Q. Wiltshire, has made fitness, health, and mindset a priority for three decades. Shortly after winning the Mr. Oregon bodybuilding competition, Steve developed an autoimmune disease that originated from a serious gut complication that took a huge toll on his overall health, his life, and his career. Up until then, Steve followed what he perceived as experts in fitness regarding what was healthy like radical meal plans and supplements containing harsh chemicals. But 18 long months after being diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and more, which we'll talk about in this episode, Steve healed himself through alternative and holistic healing methods. Yay, Steve. Congratulations. My favorite way to heal. (laughs) Now, Steve just doesn't look healthy. He is healthy, healthy from the inside out. And it's evident through his boundless energy, his sparkling eyes, and his great outlook on life. Now, it's Steve's mission to help others reclaim their health and power and love themselves no matter where they're at. Steve is an inspiring speaker, author, mindset coach, and the founder of Body Temple Health and Wellness. His company also has its own all-natural, chemical-free supplement line. Steve is a really great guy and so full of love and excitement for life. And although he and I haven't had a chance to meet yet, because I just got through a new part of my healing journey and also COVID, my plan is to meet him in person sometime before the end of the year, hopefully this fall or even sooner. He's already given me tons of resources that I hope to start using next week, now that I'm recovered. I'll keep you all posted on that. And I've shared some of these resources for you in the show notes, including his complimentary 15-day kickstart gut detox plan. Like Steve says, the gut is the engine and the brain of the body. And I totally agree with him. After listening to this episode, you should definitely check out his free detox program to help you on your healing journey. And if you're part of the Dragonfly Connection community on Facebook, you can also connect with Steve and other podcast guests in there. The link to that group will also be in the show notes. Enjoy. This episode is sponsored by HealingWays.com. Find a holistic wellness professional and resources to help you on your healing journey. That's HealingWaze.com. Thank you for being here. Let's take a breath. (laughs) Mmm. Yeah. Thank you God for Amber. Thank you God for this connection to make a huge impact today. Guide us. Thank you. And thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, we have definitely already gotten warmed up talking with you. I found out that you live very close to me, but let my listeners know where you're at. I'm in Portland, Oregon, kind of in Portland, Oregon. I'm outside <laughs> of Portland, Oregon, and I live in the happiest city in the U.S. called Happy Valley. Um, how long have you lived in happy valley i have been here for gosh about six years now okay where'd you where were you before that uh well i was born and raised on the east side troutdale yeah okay so you are a lifelong oregonian (laughs) yes i i am and I, i i love this climate i love the green i love the weather actually mm-hmm. love the rain <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know i actually came from a rainier place than portland and wow. i don't find it that rainy here i'm always like why are you guys complaining and it is nice you know so i just got back from la and i there it made me more thankful for the rain mm-hmm. because it makes it so clean. I mean, I know we've got lots of problems right now. <laughs> but oh, we do. We do. <laughs> in, in the city, I wasn't go there. yeah, we're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. But 
for the majority of the state, our rain keeps it just like you said, green and clean. Like we have a very clean appearance, no matter what's going on, because the rain's always Doesn't washing it. Doesn't really it. rain here all the time. I remember when I Emma, so. when my son was in pre kindergarten, mm-hmm. he went to this school downtown, and I would often go down go downtown to this little park, and I'm. This is so dumb. Like this, this homeless person. I said the most dumbest thing to this homeless person. I'm just talking to him. Yeah. And I said, well, where are you from? And he said, well, I'm from Seattle, but I moved down here. He says, it just drizzles all the time in Seattle. And in Portland, it just rains quick and gets over. <laughs> yeah, most of the time, for sure. Yeah, it's. It's not as rainy as people make it out to be. And I agree. It's beautiful. We've got lots of nature, lots of great hiking. Mm. Our hiking is amazing. Amazing. Um, Multnomah Falls. Mm. Multnomah Falls, all of it. Okay, so here's the fun question. And I don't think this is going to stump you, but (laughs) what's something that most people don't know about you? Now, I know that you're an open book Mm. and you've been a podcaster and you're a public speaker. So I'm sure people Mm. know a lot about you, but I'm sure there's a few things. And if it's embarrassing... Even better. <laughs> um, we'll have a little fun with this and, and get yep. a little serious. I'm an incredible dancer. And I bring so much joy to people when I'm out in public. My focus when I back up, I always say the same thing as I drive away. Going out in the world, going to pull out the best in people. I'm a great spectator. And I would say on a serious note, um, yeah, I went through a lot of pain in my childhood that became a gift Mm -hmm. in my life. And whoever you are and whatever your journey has been, your adversities can become a gift by simply being receptive to them. You know, only to the degree that we can experience the depth of darkness will we experience the depth of light on the other side. Neil Donald Walsh conversations with God. And so whatever you're going through, I will tell you, and when you're receptive to it, it does become a blessing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. And I'm going to go back to, you're a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you just say that. Oh, it's awesome. I remember I had a couple of friends that were, <laughs> um, I had a friend that actually owned um, Minna Paradise and he's a builder, builds incredible homes. But um, I remember one time, I'm going back like years ago, he Mm -hmm. said, you know, you should come down and like dance. And he said, what do you mean dance? He said, like, well, I'll just strip. You don't have to strip all the way down. I said, that would stress me out. That would really stress me out. I have no interest in that at all. Thank you, but no thank you. Oh, God, did I really say that? (laughs) I love it. I said, your business is your business. My That would just stress me out. I can't oh even. Oh, my gosh. That. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, okay. All right. We're, We're gonna- a good coach. <laughs> I can't okay. believe you pulled that out of me. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> that's what I do. I'm, I'm sorry, but not sorry. All right. <laughs> let's let's uh, dive into some more serious stuff. You talked a minute ago. You that quote was beautiful about the darkness and lightness mm-hmm. and adversity. And I know from talking to you a few minutes ago before this, you, you did grow up with some adversity before we talk about your healing, like your adult healing journey, mm-hmm. just briefly tell us about your childhood. You even mentioned something about hating yourself or your body. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, interesting as I um, go back. First of all, I've had, an incredible mom. My, I mean, my mom's just been my rock, like talk about inspiration and what she models to me. Mm-hmm. But my dad was this, you know, man's man. And he was um, semi-pro in college, like baseball, basketball, football, he had two brothers that were athletes. I was in the middle one, kind of the dark sheep, um, just really not that athletic and pretty mm-hmm. skinny. And um, I, I didn't learn anything about nutrition, you know, growing up and, um, long story short, about 18, I stepped into the entrepreneur realm and became, you know, really confident in myself with being an entrepreneur, but I didn't really feel that confidence inside. I remember being at a convention with 4,000 4, entrepreneurs and the keynote speaker, Patricia Fripp, incredible, ended by asking everybody to get quiet. She said, I have a really important question for you. 
And then she said, what are you sick and tired of being sick and tired of? And I wrote down, I hate my body. And it was six months before my class reunion. And I came back home, made a decision. I was going to transfer my body. Well, my wife was a choreographer and she was choreographing for a, um, a Miss Olympia contendee. And that just means a bodybuilding national. And, you know, it, there's no mistakes, but that industry is not, is completely opposite of functional medicine. What you would think you would learn that would have you look incredibly fit, can't sustain yourself as you get older. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of part of, you know, we go back that, you know, I go back 30 years ago, I'm 57. So that's 30 years ago. There wasn't 24 hour fitnesses. There wasn't LA um, plat or LA fitness. And, and so there were these little gyms and um, it was part of the learning early on that I couldn't sustain that actually got me sick. But what I will tell you, all of you, is that the beautiful part of contrast, meaning wanted and unwanted conditions, leads us to what we do want when we focus on that. And um, it, it just that that completely changed my life by just making a decision. I just wanted to give myself permission to transform my body mm-hmm. externally, but it became an internal process. That was the gift of all of it. Mm, yeah, we're gonna talk a lot about that. Uh, when you when you won the Mr. Oregon contest, bodybuilding contest, were you yet truly loving yourself and your body at that point, or was were you secretly really not liking yourself? Gosh, good question. I think sometimes we start to improve ourselves ourselves externally. And the pathway is kind of like going from the right brain to the left brains or left side to the right side, mm-hmm. vice versa. And through that experience, I learned a lot about focus. I learned a lot about being present. Mm-hmm. I learned a lot about listening. And I was a person, you know, I was taught, we were taught, both my brothers and I, to self-sacrifice at an early age. I remember my mom would just, there was no not going to school. You know, you, mm-hmm. you went to school. She said, like, you know what? Go to school. If you don't feel well, the nurse will call me. I'll come pick you up. You know, I remember having 101 temperature and being in, I don't know, some swim in like kindergarten. And I was the only one in the a girl that could swim the pool the whole length. I can't even believe I tell you this. And I had 101 temperature and she said, we're just going to go swim the pool for the pr- presentation. And then I'm going to bring you home and get back in bed. And it just seemed foreign to me as a child. Right. But that was what I did. Right. Wow. So the beautiful part about this initial journey is I learned how to take time for myself. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of how it all began. Mm, Yeah. So we're going to first, before we talk more about how it all began, I want to know about what happened to you, like the short version, the short version of your story that specifically what happened to you, your health Mm -hmm. that now brought you to where you are today because I understand your health challenge. I mean, it almost cost you cur- your career, your yeah. like relationships, your good money, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, what happened? You know, it was eighteen months of pain that completely transformed my life, and. You are a phenomenal interview. I want to, or interviewer, oh. I want to just say that, you know, the disappointment that I feel as a coach and trainer in well being, this whole journey of transformation is people wait till they're sick. Yes. Even, even when they have signs yeah. that they know their body is not functioning well and their blood work comes back. That's the, and it, it looks decent or pretty good. Mm-hmm. That's the gray stage. But your body starts to give you signs when it's time for a change. And I had, I was the opposite. I had no signs leading up to it at all. Interesting. And I remember being with my son at dinner one night, vegan. And all of a sudden, my stomach completely bloated up. I looked four months pregnant. 
I looked at him. I said, wow, I think I got to go into urgent care. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm like knowing every time I eat or drink, I'm bloated. Well, 48 hours later, I'm in the doctor getting blood panels, extensive blood work. Everything comes back fine. Great, actually. And I'm thinking, what's going on with me? There's something wrong. What's going on with me? Well, at that time in my life, um, Quinn's mom, who's my partner with Body Temple Health and Wellness, Mm -hmm. her company, she had been on a two-year journey of healing herself from third stage cancer. And I was so stuck on this, I'll say, judgment Mm-hmm. that she was going to die, that she was going to lo- leave our son at 12 years old. And so I wasn't really paying attention until I got sick. So she had already been down this path and she just led me to natural paths that are disguised as healers mm-hmm. and everything that I was learning in the, with my natural path in and bodybuilding and the supplementations that I was supplements that I was taking that had massive chemicals in them. Mm-hmm. Dodo, like how in the world did I not know that 92% of the product supplements on the market have chemicals in them and 87% are owned by a pharmaceutical drug company disguised as a, a supplement company. Like wow. why was I not like, how, it's like, how in the world did I not know that? But I would just hire experts, trust these experts and I have a supplement line now. I've had, uh-huh. been on three podcasts. They're, they're podcast hackers or called supplement hackers. I never knew that existed. And they like reveal the inauthenticity and all these ingredients that are just really toxic to the body. Uh-huh. So that's just kind of how that all started. And it was 18 months of me completely changing everything that I knew. And it, it looked good. It's uh, for a lot of younger people that have like a body that's like a brand new car. It's fine. When you start to get older, it just doesn't sustain itself. And I know that you know what that means. Yeah, I do. I do. I understand that you were diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. Mm-hmm. Which do you know which one? Oh, yeah. Do you know? Yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, so I had a massive case of candida that was destroying oh. my body. And those of you that like, oh, gosh, I just want to teach. I'm going to lead you to a resource that's going to change your life. A gut detox manual, a gut detox. I mean, when you realize that the gut, I mean, why is the gut the center of the body? You know, why would the universe create that? Like the gut is the engine and the brain of the body. Mm -hmm. And when it's destroyed, like I didn't even know, you know, in my, even in my journey that a colitis and Crohn's disease, it's just that microbiome. It's, we'll talk more about that. It's so special. It's like a, a pond that you have and you're wanting to get it in balance. It was so off course, Mm -hmm. but um, I had celiacs, but a Mm -hmm. terrible case of candida. Now, when you look at the, ladder of autoimmune on the bottom is celiacs on the top is ms somewhere toward the middle is um lupus and a little bit below that is um fibromyalgia but it the candida and the bad bacteria and that imbalance in the gut creates other problems Mm -hmm. this is why you want to learn at an early age understanding gut health. I just talked with an incredible person in Toronto earlier today. And she said, your gut detox manual is unbelievable from the education to water sourcing, to understanding how depression and anxiety plays a part of the gut. Why children, young taught children get sick mm-hmm. and the, the way that uh, our brains thinking can actually stress and depression and anxiety can actually destroy the gut and how you wrote this thing for people to understand and then to create these baby steps that people can step into that can transform their thinking and transform their um, health. But she said it was like, reading psychology transformation mindset all in one it made my day <laughs> it took me months to write that it was like so much 
focus and listening to the soul and being guided by. Yeah. Well, and your purpose is to help people and, and help them with their health. And so when you get that confirmation back that you helped somebody, Mm. yeah, that feels amazing. That feels amazing. You're living your purpose. I wanted in the beginning (laughs) to tell people you're in the right place with Amber. Uh, you know, oh, I mean, your podcast, mm-hmm. seriously, you humble, you humble soul, you are in the right place. Your oh, podcast thank you. episodes, I can't wait to catch up <laughs> on more. Um, thank you. You're about the yeah. energy that you radiate. You know, you are thank just you. a gift. I'm going to remove you. that word just. You are a gift <laughs> at this time on our planet, and you're all in the right place. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Well, and, and you are too. And we have similar purposes and missions. They just look a little different and the way we do it is different, but it's, it's all helpful. So same back to you. I'm going to be hanging out with Amber, everybody. I'm going to be inviting (laughs) her over. I'm actually going to drop you by some sprouts. I'm going to grow you some pea sprouts. I'm I'm going to drop them by. And I'm going to show you how to make a nutrient smoothie. I'm going to give you my recipe, which is so awesome. It's my intermittent fasting. You don't really, you don't really not eat anything. Just have a a nutrient smoothie in the next day. But uh, yeah, I want to know you, friend. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. Well, and, and I mean, I I definitely need some help. I had a smoothie for breakfast this morning though. Um, I'm also celiac. I need to check out more on your website for sure. We need to I'll, just, I'll just send you resources and organize. Yeah. It for you. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, let's, let's talk more than about, so you already talked about healing the gut and how that is super important. Mm-hmm. How the gut is the gut brain. It's a term mm-hmm. and for a reason, right? Mm-hmm. Like it is, it is so responsible for our overall health. What you titled our conversation i guess was release toxins go green eliminate sugar i think that's gonna be part of the title when i come up with it <laughs> so I'm a, i didn't say that how did you you, know you did say it at some point not in this conversation but i've seen it written in maybe oh, your email or something you're you i'm <laughs> impressed like you've done your I paid attention. Uh, way more than i'm curious of podcasters wow. <laughs> so i'm assuming then that you focused on your gut health primarily, but what were some other things that you did? Yeah, let's, let's talk about that. I'm going to lead up to it, my friend, by just saying that um, the $20,000 I spent to heal myself, like I literally had these answers. I didn't go to Hippocrates. She did Mm -hmm. like she had all these answers, but in fact, I'm dealing with a, a, a close friend, man, that wasn't, okay, sorry, I'm skipping around. Colonics mm-hmm. is such a great gift when you start to get sick. And what people don't understand about colonics, it actually feels like a spa experience. It's, you know, it feels a little different in the beginning because it's like an enema, but mm-hmm. not really. It's a spa experience. You are... Uh, I mean, I had to go, I, I had never had brain fog. I'm a person that could go and go and go. And not that I would say that I didn't take care of myself. I just had an immense amount of energy. My mm-hmm. son, who's 24, you would not believe the energy that he has just because his mom and I being on the regimen, he is complete vegan. And that doesn't mean you all, all have to be vegan. Um, what I will tell you is that this is, hear me. There is no such thing as one fits all, one methodology fits all. There is just not a true, it's just not true. (laughs) Men, yes. Life. Well, and I'm just saying that it's uh, like there's some blood work or uh, blood types that actually do better with protein Mm -hmm. and can thrive on animal protein. But the colonics, just every fourth day, I had to do colonics to get my brain to function. And I remember having an event. I have had an entrepreneur brand for 20 years. And I had an event at the Vidara um, in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, Gosh, you know, thousand entrepreneurs flying in. And I was like, please, dear God, help me get through this. I had no sense of focus. And that's what 
candida can do and parasites. People are talking about parasites. 14% of the population is walking around with parasites. You get a, a test with a doctor for parasites. It comes back negative. You go and get a test with a naturopath. It comes back positive. There's so much. Uh, it's really important to tap into functional medicine. Mm-hmm. So in all of this, what started to happen for me is that I needed to learn how to restore the gut. And what I was taught wasn't working for me. And so you nailed it. First of all, I started intermittent fasting. I started um, going green, sprouting, growing my own sprouts, wheat grass shots. Um, I did a lot of colonics. Mm -hmm. I found supplements that were not completely chemical free, but I eventually found a formulator that formulated for me. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really any true chemical free supplements, the capsules, like nothing like it, but I I started to find products that were as close to that. I didn't know what I didn't know at that point Mm -hmm. that would support me with gut detox. I'm laughing because I remember one time going to the airport, getting ready to fly to New York and I'm being picked up and going to South, South New York, right? Like, and I'm in line and I'm taking this awful product that I just could not control myself. It was terrible. I'm like running to the bathroom. Oh my God. <laughs> and there are products that are, that are just way gentle mm-hmm. that are, that can support you around that. We'll talk more about that, but mm-hmm. yeah, I started eliminating sugar. Mm-hmm. Um, no, there was no fruit in my diet at all. I'll just say meal plan mm-hmm. and um, going green, detoxing consistently, even um, getting in a sauna. Like I didn't know that I just didn't do that. Um, there's a lot of ways to actually restore your gut, just like a pond. Yeah. Whole, you know, just FYI, we've got a community online with a ton of resources mm-hmm. in the file section. It's called Body Temple Community. You jump on Facebook, search Body Temple Community, and there are all these coaches that are answering questions for you. And nice. you click on the more button and get into detail, look for the file section. You'll see my ebook on how I limited, uh, how I um, diminished anxiety and depression in my life at one point. And um, the gut detox program that we have and all sorts of just gifts and free resources. Just- yeah. Perfect. I will put that link in the show notes for sure. And I was going to ask awesome. about that later. So you already plugged it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I want to know, let's talk about this. So this healing journey of yours mm-hmm. was not just what you did physically. Mm-hmm. Like you just said, you overcame depression and anxiety as well. And I'm sure that was, part of what you were doing mindset meditation <sighs> tell us elaborate on that part because i'm well, you know, I never all really about the mindset depression. Meditation. oh okay but i wrote the ebook with the intent to support people around diminishing anxiety and depression and it was okay. really a time in my life i mean it was when i was actually um much younger and my doctor wanted to get me on antidepressants and my mom said honey i don't think so and that's that was kind of prior to me working out at 27 like i just had anxiety all the time and uh but what i will tell you is that there's a direct relationship with anxiety depression and stress with the gut and what saddens my heart is the oh god elevated number of people that have committed suicide since COVID. Mm -hmm. It's the antidepressants have just increased rapidly. I have goosebumps right now because when little children say to mommy or daddy, mommy, my stomach hurts. It really means I don't know how to deal with what's going on in my mind. And we have to be aware of that. And that So that was the, I wrote that ebook four years ago about that experience because it just started, you're you're right, like it it went into meditation Mm -hmm. and I started to really tap in to my morning ritual and it's a very long conversation, but I have a miracle morning ritual document in the file section. And I want to just say that we all have we need to realize that transformation happens in environments. For example, if you're married 
and your marriage isn't going well, you don't wish it into fruition. You don't wish it to get better. You hire a counselor. You go to marriage encounter, account, yeah. a marriage encounter. You go to your church and find a couples program. And then you together work on healing that relationship. Well, do you have a hub for your life? You know, do nobody gets my time and my morning, but my creator, nobody. And it's an organized structure, flexible. It's a structure that supports me in remembering where I'm headed. What are the four commonalities that we have as human beings? Relational, fear, physical, spiritual, and professional. Mm -hmm. And when we start to write affirmations that train our brain how to think, we start attracting it. Law of attraction is a real thing. Some of people that um, like me that are Christians say, mm, really? Bring your ties to the storehouse. Bring a portion of yourself. Offer it freely. Prove me now. And this says, Lord, if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour upon you such a blessing that you cannot, will not contain it. Thoughts held in mind reproduce in like kind. Where the mind goes, the matter woman follows. We need to learn to write affirmations. What separates us from so many programs that I researched is we train people how to think. So when people go south, like here's one of my general affirmations. Mm-hmm. I train them to say, when I go south on my ideal wellness plan, I bless, release, recommit, and get back on track. Now, if you can do hit that, when that trigger starts to happen, that limiting belief starts to pop up, Mm -hmm. this is when you're starting to realize that that frontal lobe, that 40% of your brain that has the capacity, the free will part of our physiology that our creator has given us has the capacity to change anything where the frontal lobe is different, of course, than the primal mind, mm-hmm. like animals. And the only animal that remotely has anything close to that is a chimpanzee. And a mother will hang herself if her baby's taken from her most often. Wow. Yeah. So you want to like create this hub in the morning. Yeah. You train your brain what you want physically, spiritually, professionally <laughs> what's the other one uh, you get it the four areas I love it. <laughs> I love it. oh you're so you're you're human steve uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. I> can't <laughs> <even imagine. laughs> uh, could you just give me like the first like three pieces of what that morning ritual for yourself looks like absolutely i am a leverage genius Okay. I'm going to say it. I love and it. It's me working with so many coaches uh-huh. and realizing that an elevated state of leverage means you're getting multitudes of benefits in one sitting. So, for example, I'm usually in bed by 1130. I was up till two o'clock last night. I was just on a roll. Inspiration strikes. Uh-huh. I would just say, we don't want to get motivated. We want inspired action. And I was just on a roll. I was just on a roll. So I, I got up, you know, without a lot of sleep. I feel great. I had a supercharger bath. I listened to Gabriel Bernstein, the soul junkie. I'm in a 21 day meditation, just finished it, went back and listened to, I knew I was going to be on four podcasts today. I'm a light warrior. I listened to the meditation on a light warrior, but in that I'm soaking in food grade peroxide, which oxidates, oxidates your body, mm-hmm. uh, magnesium. I'm actually doing a liver cleanse a little bit, started it after two and through tomorrow. It's, it's not even a supplement, Uh, but in all of that, I listened to this meditation Mm -hmm. and then I got out stretched and I read my affirmations only around my spirituality. Things are always happening to me. My soul's two steps ahead. I live in light, not in fear. Mm -hmm. I send fear back to where it it comes from. They're just affirmations that I can show you how to tap into that will come from your soul and your creator. And you will be able to bring them into the human experience. Mm, Lovely. Well, no wonder why you have all this energy. It's because (laughs) you're, you're taking care of yourself holistically, mind, body, spirit. Mm. You, that's part of your daily, not just your morning ritual or routine, but that's how you live. And, and it exudes. That's why you have all the energy. So 
I think yours should be called the the Oprah Winfrey um, <laughs> symbolic podcast. I get it. <laughs> Like, Thank you. I feel like I I'm love 24 Oprah. right now because I'm around a lot of youth. It's like one of my passions, youth leadership yeah. and health. And I want to say, dude, like, you know, it's funny how to hear the youth like call women and they're like, and women are called dude. And other women, dude, like, but I want to go, dude, you're such a good interviewer. Oh, I think thank I've you. Like 96 <laughs> times. You're phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, we're having fun. Pull it out of you. I don't. Too bad you have more podcasts to do today. We talk all day. Uh, I love Oprah. So I'm just going to put a shout out there. If anyone has connections to Oprah, please hook me up. I would love to chat with Oprah. I would love to like co-host an interview with Oprah or something. You would rock that. I would love it. All right. So, okay. I got to bring it in, Amber. Uh, me too. <laughs> I want to, I, want, I know that movement is obviously, and not, and I'm just saying, obviously, because you look like you're in really good shape as well, physically. And that isn't just from the movement you do. Obviously, it's from everything else, too. But movement is really important to holistic health. And I I personally, I do not walk around exuding this like, oh, you must work out look. (laughs) But I do. I love movement. I love working out. I love harder workouts. I like I like softer workouts. I, right now, I'm really into belly dancing. Beautiful. It's amazing. Move your it's heart. just, oh, it's so good. So I am with you, and I, I believe movement is super important to our mindset, to our gut health, to our overall health. But I do know a lot of people are really exercise averse. <laughs> so what would oh, you say? I got a good one for you. Yeah. So, so tell me how you would overcome this. <laughs> With people, so help ironic, my listeners. Like, <laughs> because who we are in one area of our life is who we are in another area of right. our life. And we'll take them through this exercise. And when I get to health, I'll say, scale of one to 10, how fulfilled are you with your health? And they'll say, often they'll say, they'll just throw out a score and lower usually. And I'll say, well, what would increase it? And they'll say, I need to go to the gym. And then I go, do you like going to the gym? No, I don't. Well, why would you want to go to the gym? What do you yeah. mean you have to go to the gym? Well, I know I need to get in shape. Well, what does shape mean to you? And then they start to realize they have this limiting belief based on their external world. Mm-hmm. They're looking around. You know, we all have these different body types. You know, I follow some incredible people on Instagram that became so successful uh, with the following because they talked about their journey with health and they made the number one decision that all human beings can make. Love your body, no matter what, no matter where you're at. The life that you've created today came from your past and it's never too late to make a decision that you're ready for change. But there's, when you go to a yoga studio, I do Bikram yoga a couple of times. Mm, mm-hmm. And there are so many different body shapes and some of the instructors, you know, are larger women mm-hmm. and my God, they're healthy. Like, yeah. I used to do Bikram yoga with a larger instructor. <laughs> she was so inspiring. <laughs> Yeah, there's no, I mean, there's, there's just all these different body types and yeah. it's not about what you look like. It's mm-hmm. how you feel. And there's so many people that I've worked with that have just, they have just wanted a body type that they didn't have, that they weren't mm-hmm. brought into the universe with. And when they started to change that limiting belief, they started seeing a whole different avenue of of joy and love and success things started to change for them right first of all fall in love with your body but you know think about it a walking meditation stretching just movement um and then like you said belly dancing you know the, i have a 12 week program called take charge your health body mindset 12 week program mm-hmm. six of the trainings i didn't feel equipped to do so i hired an international health guru, plant-based. And, but I did the one on fitness and I have all these, all these different protocols and methodology around fitness, different programs that you can step into. That's what you're about is finding the one that elevates your spirit. 
Yes. Oh, I love that. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. And when you're working with somebody, take us through how, like how you help people, kind of the process of what you do to help people and help oh, gosh. Them, not just with their overall health. If we can kind of summarize yeah. it. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, absolutely. I, I can say this in two minutes. Um, yeah. We have this program called Take Charge Your Health Customized Coaching Package. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing. And the reason for that is that we are a philanthropic movement and we are here to help people. And so like what you'll notice if you opt in for anything, even the free gift, Mm -hmm. by the way, it's called bodytemplekickstart.com. It's incredible. But you'll notice that these coaches just reach out to say, Hey, welcome to body temple. We've got resources. Do you need any help? But this two part program that we take people through, we first of all, distinguish what's your deep reason for wanting ideal health. My second favorite question is tell me about your ideal health in six months, a year, two, three years, Mm -hmm. and tell me what you don't want. That's my favorite question. If you were given the worst diagnosis from a doctor that would take you to your knees, what wouldn't you want to hear? Because that's the call to action, damn it. You know, I mean, when I think of how I can get people to really get out of the present and go to the future, and then sometimes they're quiet on the other side and I say, I'm here with you, and they're starting to get emotional because they've seen a parent go through it. And I'll say, well, what choices do you suppose you might step into that would support that? Second, we take them through what we call the wheel of health and we distinguish their fulfillment level on a scale of one to 10 in the eight most important areas of their life. Mm-hmm. Third step is the body where we start the body of the ideal wellness plan, supplementation, ideal water sourcing, um, food and beverage plan, fun and recreation, meditation. There's several different areas. And so we provide these resources, but we pull out of them what they know instead of giving them a whole new plan. It's like, what do you know you used to do that worked? And then fourth is all about shifting poor habits to ideal habits Mm -hmm. and noticing the triggers because a plan doesn't work. If content worked, damn it, everybody would be successful, right? Right. (laughs) We need to train their brain how to think and the serotonin and the dopamine and the things that happen in the body. When you start to take things away, it's a slow process. And fifth, we design what we call their ideal intention affirmation statement that they read in the morning and they read at night. And that's when they start to train the brain. Exactly where they're going. Nice. And I will say, I looked, I looked at it and it is amazing price. How long is this program? Um, it's, it's a $544 <laughs> package for one ninety seven, yeah. but yeah, we pay option because we want people to have, you know, the first step is just talk to coach and they reach out yeah. and I get it. Like, it's just interesting how many people won't take support because there's all this inauthenticity going on, man. Oh my Everywhere. Gosh, yeah. Like you mm-hmm. can't believe the list I get on that. I don't even, yeah. get to and, <laughs> uh, it just lies. Right. But yeah. We're, we're in it to help people. I know this conversation We'll give people a tip or two, but that's not enough. No. That's why we designed the body temple. Well, what we call the kickstart detox program. It's so much more than that. Very cool. Yeah. And I will say looking at your website, listening to you now, all your work is very empowering. Mm. You're not just holding people's hands and going, let me do this for you. You're really empowering people to take charge of their own health. And that is one of the reasons I'm, I'm really honored to have you on my podcast. That is, the, those are the type of people I love to have on here because we can be empowered. We just sometimes need, most of the time, need some support, outside support to get us there, especially depending on where we're at in our, in our healing journey. So, you know, that's I, had amazing. A, I had a fitness instructor, Amber, at, yeah. and I just would go into the gym. I can't believe how many people like ask me about my health and the sauna and all sorts of stuff. And, um, His name is Christian. And last night he sent me before our session tomorrow. um, We have a template called your ideal wellness plan template. Mm -hmm. And step four is to list for 21 days, your drainers and what, and your fulfillers, things that make, have you feel fulfilled and and your drainers. Mm -hmm. And that's for how we create these affirmations. And 
to see this kid that wants to like make a huge impact with people's health and to go through this journey. He said to me, it was such a beautiful compliment, man. He just said, I have been through so many certifications and nothing as empowering as this. And it just oh, God, elevated my joy. Oh, said, yeah. All about mindset. And I feel so empowered. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, I, it took him a, a bit to like, we were scheduled a few times because he didn't quite do the research and read the materials in order to be able to create that step three. Like yeah. I can't do it. I can't do his shopping list and, uh, right. and his wellness plan and our food and beverage plan. You know, I feel like we learn things. We go through things on our own to have, I believe to help other people. That's the whole purpose behind these things that we struggle with on our own. So we can learn and help others. Mm -hmm. Your motto, one of your mottos, you gave me a few, and of course you have a ton. (laughs) One of them that I'm going to ask you about here. um, You said, I enjoy the journey and stay in process knowing I will eventually arrive at my Mm -hmm. ideal destination. Now I want to ask you, do you struggle? Do you struggle? with enjoying the journey sometimes, even though this is your motto and also staying in the process. And then if you do, what do you do to get through that struggle? Yeah. It's not necessarily my motto, but it's what I do. So what I know is that people will go South when they feel guilt or judgment. And I want to help them train their brain to realize my, one of my favorite ones is, I stay in process and enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. My favorite motto is service is the highest activity to which we can aspire. And we're the beneficiary of the, of the service. Another one that I love that I live by is the value I offer is always determined by the other person. So what that offers us is to, we have intuition and we have logic. Like, you know, what did I step into today? I wanted to know what Amber wanted. I wanted to think like Amber, get in her lens. And I'm just noticing now, just being in the moment with that, like, you know, we had a magical conversation. So I, I needed to think yeah. like, and ask questions and stay curious. So yeah, I have several, but. Uh, so the affirmations are for you personally, one of the ways that you continue to move forward if you're struggling, because Again, we're going to say, Steve, so, you're human. I'm kind of a sarcastic <laughs> guy. Like I, I, I'm really, I'd say people that are wired to be strategic, uh-huh. um, we can just see shit that's wrong, man. And it's not like happy stuff. It's like my yeah. son was born happy. His mom was like happy. I wasn't naturally born happy. But and I, and I realized I wanted to kind of be a saint person. And I'm like, so when shit goes wrong for me, I just say, good things are always happening to me. I'm going to enjoy my life no matter what. And then I start to get on a rampage. I call it a rampage. I love Esther Hicks, um, Abraham Hicks. Mm -hmm. I start to think about what I'm grateful for. And it just, you know, what happens is that, you know, you can't get from despair to bliss. There's no such thing. You have to walk the ladder. And so I just start getting on a mindset about appreciation. And often it starts with petting my cats and walking in nature because Mm -hmm. if you want to track things in your life, all of you that are listening, become the greatest version of yourself, not the greatest version of someone else. Yes. Who are you at your best? Get to know yourself. Yes. Dude. (laughs) (laughs) That's awesome. All right. So, (laughs) One last question. Well, I actually have two more, but your supplements. I see that you have supplements advertised mm-hmm. on your website. Mm-hmm. And are those made by a company that you employ? Uh, or God, how great. do these come about? Is there like a short explanation? Well, I found a formulator <laughs> when I wanted to heal my body and I didn't want chemicals. And he said, you know, I, I, I don't have a company that I formulate that like one of them is completely chemical free, but not the capsule. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, okay. And he said, you know what? I'm going to send you products and bags. I like, like he literally like there were Ziploc bags, like, like that's that's how I took them. Yeah. And then eventually I ended up taking, um, creating a formulation. I wanted hundred percent chemical free 
pre-probiotic to pump up the immune system. I wanted a gentle but effective purified detox formula. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted our digestive enzymes are over the top. These supplement hackers have said you top 1%. And what's cool with the free gift, if you scroll down under the video, you will see a 25 to 30% off on those products. Oh, cool. 100% um, money back guarantee. Mm -hmm. And with that, three ebooks, our body temple shopping guide, our kickstart detox manual, 40 pages over the top <laughs> and our chemicals and ingredients to, or uh, toxic chemicals to avoid. To cut out. Cool. Very cool. So that's yeah. part of that free gift link. Yes. Right. Yes. So just in a nutshell, the kickstart detox plan, what is that? It's a 43-minute video okay. on how to launch your health, 15 days of detoxing. And it's not complicated. There's a simple version plan for the person mm -hmm. who just wants to step into it. And then, then the person that knows they really need change, there's a more um, moderate plan. And the person that really wants to take it to another level, there's a, a, a very sophisticated um, balls to the wall plan. So we show you how to detox, but we also teach you how to consistently restore your gut. And during that 15 mm -hmm. days, you're going to learn how to restore your gut. The pathway is this, the choices you make and then the products you take. Third, we're going to show you how to create a customized ideal wellness plan that can just be this template that you can use for months or years to come, but we evolve over time. Mm -hmm. And then a conversation around chemical free supplements. So nice. that's what we offer. Awesome. Thank you. All right. And before we say goodbye, Steve, do you have <laughs> any more words of wisdom or tips for someone who's currently struggling physically or mentally? I will tell you the reason I got successful as an entrepreneur coach so I didn't teach anybody anything. I sent them to a resource in my library that was transcribed with assignments. And their job was to do the work and come back and coach around it. So the three questions I always ask myself is, what's this person want? Why? What do they need to learn to get what they want? Read this, watch this, listen to this, attend this, journal about this, practice this. And then third, what pathway will I take to help them get what they want. What's the protocol? And that's why this 43 minute video took us really this whole program with the documents, eight serious months of contemplation, case studies, going back and looking at clients and really doing successful surveys that because when it's too complicated, the mind says no. They get overwhelmed. Yes. So the greatest yes. gift you can give yourself is 43 minutes to watch this video. And that doesn't mean you have to do it in one sitting. You could actually mm -hmm. go to the gym or go for a walk, do it in three settings. And then it's all in the Kickstart Detox Manual. So when you register, it's bodytemplekickstart.com, you're going to see a very important question. And it will say... Unfortunately, email is not always reliable. Add your cell number. We get hundreds of emails every week saying, I registered. I didn't get it. Email is just not reliable, man. It's just a big train wreck. So enter your cell number. We'll text that to you. Okay. And then you'll notice five steps under the video. And the first step is to fill out a three-minute take charge of your health evaluation. The reason it's three minutes is that we thought of everything you would want to not want. It's a wake-up call. People just say, whoa, it was three minutes and it really got me to think. And then you will hear from a body temple coach and they will just give you their time to lead you to resources. So. Cool. Good All girl. right. <laughs> awesome. Well, Steve, thank you so much for being with me today. And I look forward to connecting more with you. Yeah, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to grow you some sprouts next week and drop them <laughs> by my yes. by your home or your business, my dear. <laughs> My home and business are the same right now. <laughs> That's right. Mine too. I love it that way. I'm going to do that. need to get my body into a little bit better shape. So I might be 
taking charge of your, uh, taking advantage of of that complimentary stuff. So thank you, Steve. Oh, let and- me just give you some time. I'll take care of you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for having. I was me. thinking. I was like, man, we need to hang out. <laughs> we are. We go for some walks on the Twalton River. At yeah. Hang out. I don't know. I haven't spent much time in Happy Valley. I don't know what kind of walks are out there. Oh, I bet a lot. No way. That's yeah. Thank you for being here. I know you have. How many podcasts have you already done today? Oh, they're in the afternoon, like okay. um, 12, one, two, no, four, one okay. in Australia, my other brand. Yeah. Fun. All right. For sure. Steve, you have been an inspiration to me. And I think that you're going to do the same for my readers. I are listeners <laughs> someday i'll have readers i'm going to tell you <laughs> one of the top five best interview interviewers i've had oh. on almost 160 podcasts i loved this time with you it just flew by you i know such a gift <laughs> yeah i'd say you're the most talented for sure and oh. fun and just oh gosh you just i knew that with your onboarding so real and authentic <laughs> I'm so glad Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Our stories may be different, but we all have one thing in common. We're all trying to figure out how to navigate life on this planet, and none of us have it completely figured out. No matter what you're going through in your life, just know that you are never really alone. Come back every Wednesday for more inspiration and connection, and follow me on Instagram at the Dragonfly Mama so we can stay in touch between episodes.